What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. Before I dive right in, thank you so much for 3,000 subscribers. I mean, I never would have done it, I never thought I would make it, but here I am. So I seriously thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing and uh, just watching my videos, giving that like button, Superman that like button, and Superman that subscribe button, just supporting me throughout the way. I got a bunch of other new videos coming in the works. I uh, got a lot of great investments coming in the future for the channel. Uh, but in today's video, I'm going to show you how to navigate your Android phone if the screen is broken or damaged. Now, I don't have this. Uh, my screen's perfectly fine. But the thing is, I see it at work sometimes where customers come in with broken phones and we have to find a way to navigate to kind of transfer files and transfer data to their new phone. So what we do is, we actually, you're gonna have to need like a monitor or a TV. I have a TV right in the background. But before I dive right in, let me show you what we need. All right, so the first thing that we're going to need is an adapter. So I have a USB-C phone. If you have micro USB, you're gonna have to look for a micro USB adapter. So this one is J5 Create, but I'll leave links in the description down below if you need any of these. So pretty much it's a Type-C adapter with an HDMI, a USB-A, and a Type-C port. We're going to need this because we're going to need some other stuff too, like an HDMI to connect to a TV. So we're gonna need that. We are going to need a hardwired, or you can get a wireless and use the USB-A end to plug it in, but I would just go hardwired. You can find them for pretty cheap. Um, I would get a hardwired mouse because we're going to need that. And lastly, we're going to need the HDMI cable. That's another thing. So we're going to need these three things to get this procedure going. Now keep in mind, my Android phone's working, but it'll still pretty much um, work if your, your phone works, but the screen is broken, the screen is cracked. This will work. Now keep in mind, like I said, micro USB and type C. You have to know if your phone is type C or micro USB, and I hope you guys do know by now. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sneak around and plug in the HDMI cable. All right, so I got the HDMI cable plugged in. I know you guys don't see, but that is plugged in. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn the TV on. All right, so if you do notice, Right there, no signal. What I am going to do next is I am going to take, or you're going to take your Android phone, whatever it is, and let me just switch the camera here. I know this is on scripted video, but you're gonna take your Android phone, and if I can just focus, you're going to take that adapter and you're gonna plug it in. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take the mouse right here and we are going to plug it in to the adapter. So what's pretty much going to happen is... Okay, so I kind of had to change my setup. I needed a pad that can actually work. Um, but so I got the mouse connected and what I'm going to do is going to swipe up. It's going to take a bit of a time to get used to, but we're going to swipe up. There we go. So well, it takes a time to get used to. So like I said, I wanted to type in my passcode and I'm going to skip this part. There we go. I'm in. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, but there you can see the mouse icon. You can see how I am navigating by using the mouse. Like I said, it does take some time to get used to. I mean, I use it at work and it's still pretty hard to navigate, especially if you if your phone is based on gestures. So if you have, like on your Android phone, if you have the home button and the recents in the back, it'll be much easier. But with gesture based, it's kind of hard to kind of, it, it takes some time to get used to. I'm gonna keep saying that over and over again. So there is that. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna actually go back to the TV. Okay, so now I got the HDMI cable 
and I'm going to plug that in to the adapter. All right, so I plug that in. Then we're going to take our TV and we're going to change the source. We are going to do HDMI 2. There we go. So now it's casting and we can kind of maneuver by looking at the TV now. And I'll actually give you guys a better, better view. So now if you take a look, you'll see the cursor on the phone, which is casting on to the TV. Like I said, if your screen is broken, this is how you can resolve that issue. Now I do apologize if I did repeat a couple things, but this is how you're going to do it. You're going to need that adapter. You're going to need an HDMI cable and a wired mouse. This will work. I've tried it with many different phones. I can say I tried it with like a Galaxy S8 runs Android 9, for example. The screen was destroyed. I tried it with a Motorola. And the great thing is, I will, especially with Motorola's, Sometimes you'll need a keyboard to type in like a passcode if you have a lock screen. So you can use a wired keyboard with this as well. It will work. But there is that. Hopefully you can then back up your stuff, restore whatever you need to do. And there's an extra type C cable so you can transfer files in the end as well. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below because with the more interactions we get on this video, not only helps the video and the channel, but also pushes the video out to more viewers. And best of all, superman that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, and until next video, this is MTG.